Hey, what is up YouTube? I'm TechFanek9 from AndrewRoots.com and today we're taking a carbon ROM for Galaxy, AT&T, Verizon Sprint, US Cellular, um, Metro PCS, Cricut, i9-300, so all eight uh, major um, Galaxy S3 devices are supported. Um, I believe it's every uh, Galaxy S3 that's supported for this one, so it's vi uh, widely uh, available for every Galaxy S3, so it's a great bonus. So let's dive into settings, about phone, and you're running on 4.8. Wait, where is it? Oh, there we go. Android version 4.2.2. .2. So that is always nice. And when when you're in settings, you can see the icons are pretty much changed for all everything in device and everything in personal is changed. Um, all the icon looks are changed. So you can notice a lot on apps is changed, advanced profiles. You know, everything is changed for the icons. So it does give you a little bit of change and nice look. Uh, if we go on our home screen and we tap on wallpaper, you actually do get carbon wallpapers. So that's nice. So all these are carbon wallpapers. Uh, this is the current one I've set on my um, uh, home screen. So you have all these carbon wallpapers. And it ends just about here, I believe. I think it's the last one. And all these are just normal wallpapers that you can look. Those are pretty nice, actually. They look pretty nice. So go ahead and if you want wallpapers. I know you guys like wallpapers. <laughs> so you probably enjoy this ROM just because of the wallpapers. Um, all your apps are pretty much basic. You get an app like, uh, the only new app is Exposed and Exposed Installer. So if you go into Exposed App Settings, you can actually change the DPI. So if you go into Gmail, I'll select it. It's already changed. So I changed the DPI to 1000 by 1600 and DPI to, um, DP is 1000 by 1600 and DPI is 500. Go and save it and then your screen will look a lot bigger or you can change it to look smaller if you want. So you can do default 1320 by 480, all these other options too. So if you want the application bigger or smaller depending on what you prefer, that's always nice to have. Um, so that's about it for the basic look. So if we go into settings, uh, you get more options. Um, you got dark carbon, turn that on, and now the uh, settings does look darker. You may notice that on camera, I don't know. You should. And you can see it's gray, and now it goes to black. So we'll just leave it on black just for the heck of the video. Uh, let's go into carbon ROM. And here, let's go into interface. I changed the carrier label to TF9. So now here, you can see it's TF9, and right there is TF9. That's nice. Um, I change, you can change UI mode if you want. Um, you can change your tablet, tablet, or phone um, if you want. You can choose that, so it's nice, it's cool. Uh, recent RAM bar, you can enable that. Um, let's actually enable that. Um, let's do everything. And while you hold it down, you should get all your RAM. So each thing, so you got blue, green, and gray, and then white is free. So it's cool, and you can change the color you should be. We can change it to orange. Set it, oh, and now it should be orange. And there you go, it's orange. So you can change it and you can color code it to your preference. That's awesome. So you can check out your RAM, uh, CTR screen off and on, the whoop tube, tube TV effect. And there you go, there's a tube TV effect. Um, you got wake up on charge and all that. Oh, power button torch, that's pretty cool. So if you turn off your screen, and then if you hold down the power button, the torch should come on. And there you go. So now, okay, so I, was just, I wasn't holding it down long enough, but the torch has come on. And then if you, you just let it go if you want to turn it off. So that's cool. <laughs> oh man, I held it down too long and my phone turned off. <laughs> so I'll be right back. All right, so let's go and uh, go into lock screen now and see what's there. Uh, you got screen security, all that is basic. Slider targets, which I enabled. So I added camera and Gmail. You can add uh, two other ones if you want for applications. So these applications right here. Right here, so you got camera and Gmail for quick access, very, very easy to do. So you can just quickly access all your uh, applications that you use often. Um, I allowed, uh, allow lock screen rotation. Oh, so it should work. Oh, there's your lock screen rotation. And there you go, so you got rotation right there. Um, let's go back into lock screen and accidentally press back. Um, you got widget carousel, which is pretty cool. Let's go and try that out. <clears throat> so when you're changing from lock screen pages, it actually uh, work. So as you can see, you got the carousel effect. That's cool. I like that. It's a nice effect. There you go. Let's go and go back, and let's go and look at some other things. Um, navigation bars. We're not really gonna go into that, just because the Galaxy S3, we're not gonna enable that um, for obvious reasons. Pie controls. It's not a real need, just because you have hardware keys too. Uh, you got power widgets, so you, you can do power widgets and. Um, you can actually enable this uh, bright, uh, brightness slider on top. So when I go here, I got my widgets right here and my brightness slider. So I can easily access it. Um, and I can do auto if I want. So it's really nice and easy to do. And you also have status bar. So you got all your signals and all that. You can change the battery icon and style. So you can do um, 
battery icon style. Um, let's do circle and then circle color. Let's change it to orange. I like orange. Oh, that's close enough to orange. And now you're orange right there. So that's pretty cool. I like that. And you got brightness control and all that. So, but all right. So now brightness control, you can just slide it across the status bar, which is pretty cool. As you can see, it's getting brighter and darker. That's really cool. Very, very easy to do. Oh, let's try that again. And there you go. So it gets all brighter. Let me go and change that back to regular settings right there. You have the options, obviously. Pretty basic. You got status bar toggles. So you can customize your toggles. Toggle setup. You can change it. Current user. You can go and change that around if you want, which order you want. And you can do toggles per row. So if we want five per row, that'll be a lot smaller. And you can get five per row. A lot easier. Enable fast toggle. So choose fast toggles. You can do, uh, let's do right side for fast toggle. And now you can easily access it just by putting on the right instead of actually always pressing that to enable it. And that's a basic look. And you also get performance control. So you can always do your governor and all that. So I always do on demand. Uh, that's what I prefer, but you can choose what you want. I always do on demand. So if you're playing a high intense game, it only goes to um, a higher um, megahertz of CPU and all that too. Uh, but do whatever you prefer. You can always do performance if you're always gaming or do conservative if you're always, you know, your phone's always turned off for a long time. That'll save you a lot of battery, but it'll go slower. Your phone will go slower. Uh, but that's a basic look at Carbon ROM for your Galaxy S3, AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, US Cellular, uh, Metro PC, Cricket, i9-300, and I probably missed the other few. <laughs> um, but thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button in the bottom left-hand corner, and please do consider subscribing in the bottom left-hand corner as well. Uh, don't forget to follow me, like me, and add me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, Plus. all links down below for my social networks, um, which is an also great way you can contact me for whatever reason. Uh, maybe you're having a problem installing this RAM or you just need a question maybe on what rooting is or you know how to root this device, uh, maybe how to root my Galaxy S3 or maybe you're getting a, a rooting problem with my guides or anything like that. Go ahead and uh, ask me through those social networks and link down below for the RAM as well. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.